A lot of eyes on Olympian Ryan Lochte this morning, possibly facing charges for a false police report. He's one of America's most decorated Olympians, but he's also known for his actions outside of the pool. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with a closer look. Good morning, Lindsay. Yeah, good morning, Robin. As fast as he swims in the pool, it's the waves Ryan makes outside of it that once again have people talking. Lofty Gate is on full blast online, and while some are laughing it off, others are using this moment to point out a cognitive dissonance that while many are making boys will be boys type excuses for Lochte, at the same time, gymnast Gabby Douglas can't seem to catch a break. It's becoming what's known as an international locked mess. Headlines calling out some of swimming's biggest stars for allegedly telling a tall tale and then trying to backstroke their way out of it. Twitter erupted Thursday after these comments by the IOC defending Ryan Lochte and three of his teammates following their now infamous gas station confrontation. These kids were trying to have fun. You know, let's give these kids a break. People on the internet pounced. One user wrote, shout out to all the 32-year-old kids out there. New York Giants wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. tweeted out double standards. Others compared the claims to gymnast Gabby Douglas, who last week was called out for her form during the national anthem. Chris Rock tweeted, Gabby Douglas not putting her hand on her heart equals travesty. 32-year-old drunk white man trashing property and lying equals just a kid. It's unusual to see an Olympian with this kind of bad boy reputation. It's not the first time Lochte has had a run-in with the law. Court records show he was charged for public urination in Florida in 2005. Five years later, he was charged with disorderly conduct after police say he was caught actively engaged in a physical fight. Both cases were dismissed after reaching prosecution deals. Lochte, who's currently dating a Playboy playmate, became a household name after making a huge splash at the London Games in 2012, where he took home five medals, sported these controversial American flag grills, and made this word popular. It's spelled J-E-A-H. If you say it like how it's spelled, it's Gia. The celebrity status earned him front row seats at fashion shows, races with Prince Harry in a Vegas pool, and a starring role in his own reality show on E! What would Ryan Lochte do? I remember what Megan looked like. Blonde hair, great upper body. While he might be giving TV a second chance, when it comes to the water, some critics say he shouldn't be given another one. I think Lochte is looking at a significant suspension, and we may never see him again in the pool. Multiple experts agree that Lochte almost certainly will not be extradited for this, but life post-Olympics is not exactly going swimmingly. Now people are retweeting his old tweets, including one from 2010, where he says of an upcoming trip to Venezuela that he's about to, quote, turn that expletive upside down and that the country doesn't know who is about to roll through. Mm. Interesting stuff. I, I think show. he's going to be unscathed. What would Ryan Lochte right. do? Right, yes. Yeah. What do do right now? But yeah. you're right, social media was on fire yesterday about this. People are really pointing out the difference between mm -hmm. the treatment of some versus others, others. especially with the Gabby Douglas. When you say kids versus young yeah, he's adults. He's 32, 32, exactly. Not even so young. All right, Lindsay, thanks so much.